everyone and welcome yourselves back to the channel. A couple of new Marvel updates uh, just to speak about that I am looking forward to and I just thought I'd deliver them on here. So the first one is Ben Kingsley is set to return to the Marvel Cinematic Universe after his appearance and wonderful performance in Shang-Chi. He will be back as Trevor Slatty. Slady, however you pronounce his name, in the show Wonder Man. So amazing that Wonder Man actually is actually going ahead and is in development. And obviously it's going to be in phase six, maybe. You know, you wouldn't talk about something like that unless it was upcoming. So I'm excited to see Ben Kingsley return because he is so full of comedy and it brings it to what it can be a dark place at times in the MCU. Um, a Something was leaked in regards to um, who the important characters are of Phase 5. And it's intriguing to see who these characters are. So there are six core characters who are set to be the front at the front uh, of what Phase 5 is about. And if you've seen what was revealed, but are a couple of things, you'd be kind of surprised with these characters. Miss Marvel, who is set to appear in... Uh, obviously, the, Mar the Marvel. So you, you can see why... She is set to be one of the faces of Phase 5. Captain America, obviously, in Sam Wilson, that is obvious. Kate Bishop, obviously, currently no future, but she is meant to be one of the main people involved in Phase 5. So I'm intrigued to see where she pops up next, how she pops up. It is rumoured she is scheduled to appear at the end of Ant-Man Quantumania and have formed a relationship with um, Ant-Man's daughter, so I'm intrigued, uh, Cassie Lang. So I'm intrigued to see how that works out. Ironheart, which was probably a no-brainer. She has a TV show coming out. She's set to appear in Black Panther Wakanda forever. And obviously, she is following the footsteps of Tony Stark. So I can guarantee you she'll be around for a very long time and be a prominent person to the world. Echo and Daredevil. These two are the ones that surprised me. The fact that they are pushing Echo so much. Yes, she has a TV show coming out. Yes, she'll probably feature in Daredevil. And maybe I think she's to feature in She-Hulk. Not entirely sure, but uh, it makes so much sense that they are pushing her. And I'm surprised they're pushing her as much. Uh, Daredevil, obviously a huge one. He's got 18 episodes in his first season. He is scheduled to be an Echo. He is scheduled to be in S.H.I.E.L.D. And obviously he was in Spider-Man and maybe pop up elsewhere. But I'm so excited for Charlie to take on the role. And for these six people, because of Kay, who was absolutely fantastic in her role with Hayley Steinfeld, Miss Marvel was brilliant. I and I'm very excited to see. And obviously, that's three youngsters. So three youngsters who are going to take this in direction, who obviously replicate Hawkeye, Captain Marvel, and Iron Man in their younger form. So I'm excited to see if they live up to them, but also making their own path. Daredevil obviously speaks for himself. He's had his histories at the three seasons on the Netflix, and I'm excited to see what he does. Echo, again, is forming that bridge more work just like Daredevil or Black Widow in those sorts of characters. And then you Captain America, again, Sam Wilson speaks for himself. He's been around since Winter Soldier. One of the greatest Marvel MCU characters there's been, in my opinion. His storyline, his depth, his drive. Anthony Mackie, Anthony Mackie brings this role to life such good way and I can't wait to see him work with Sebastian Stan or Bucky Barnes whichever you refer to him as in the future and the last thing I want to talk about is Reed Richards apparently has been found in an actor called Penn Bad Bad Badly Badly however you pronounce his name Badly he is obviously one of the main characters or the main character from the TV show Netflix features you and I think when looking at him he looks like what you'd envision Mr. Fantastic um, I always be. I'm always skeptical about castings. Um, John Krasinski. I simply said because of how he looks as well, and he we got that fan service. He was in Multiverse of Madness, a bit anticlimactic that he died and acts like a bit of a dumbass, but um, still amazing to see him. I would give this guy 100% a chance. Uh, if it is true that he will be taking on the role, there are rumors and leaks about who will be Sue Storm. Honest to God, I can't even envision a Sue Storm. So I'm bringing it on. Uh, the one who I 100% can't envision um, is The Thing. I'm like, who is going to take him on? Because I love the original guys who took him on. So I, I think the obvious choice would have been um, David Harbour, but obviously he's the Red Guardian. So I'm pretty sure we'll see the Red Guardian pop up at some point. But yeah, you know, the director talk of who was going to, um, the guy who did uh, One Division. 
he um, is a great pick. This guy sounds like a great pick, so I'm very much intrigued and excited to see these guys step into the roles of Fantastic Four. We will officially, I think, find out the cast of Fantastic Four, the director being conferred at D23, which I think is next week or the week after. So I hope they concretely confirm it because at this point, everyone's like, who is it going to be? Who is it? Just fucking confirm it. But yeah, that is all for today with the Marvel news. Hope you're excited for Trevor, Penn, and obviously the heroes to represent Phase 5. Thanks for watching as always. Any other Marvel news, I will be sure to deliver in the future. Thanks for watching as always. And be sure to check out my She-Hulk reviews every week. And I will be debuting What If on the channel soon as well as I yet to, I've yet to review it and watch it all. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.